Hello everyone. Today we will be talking about the Apple Pencil, uh, the second generation Apple Pencil, um, as well as this knockoff brand, uh, which is called a stylus pen, um, which I got from Amazon. I got the Apple Pencil from Amazon as well. Uh, but pretty much we will be talking about the two differences um, and what is the best one to use. So let's get into how the Apple Pencil feels. Um, pretty much, it feels like a standard pen or pencil. Uh, it's about six and a half inches long um, and about 73 uh, ounces heavy, uh, which is heavier than a normal pen or pencil, but it's not too heavy. Um, it still feels pretty comfortable um, and it feels like, like an actual uh, pen that you're writing with or drawing with. Uh, it's not too bad. Um, has a sleek design as well, um, and does not, you know, slip out of your hand when you're writing. You might be asking, how does it actually uh, feel when you use it? Um, well, as you can see here, um, for drawing, it's pretty nice. Uh, it has, you know, a lot of the features um, that an Apple Pen has, which is pressure sensitivity and tilt sensitivity. Um, so you, you, you can kind of lightly draw a line and then it would draw a light line or if you press down a bit harder, uh, you can draw a thicker line. As for the tilt sensitivity, um, pretty much what that is, is that you can use the pencil as like a shading tool. So let's say you want to shade a certain area. Um, you would just simply kind of shade how you normally normally would with a no, normal pencil. Um, and then for the tip of the pencil, let's say you want to use the tip of the pencil to draw like a fine line, you can also do that as well. So let's get into the note taking or the simple writing um, using the iPad with the pencil. Um, it's pretty, pretty simple. Um, so you can just write anything you want into a text field and then it would convert that into, um, you know, keyboard text. Um, so if you write down Apple, it would convert that into Apple um, uh, like you would using a keyboard. All right, let's get into the knockoff brand. Uh, physically, it's about the same design as the Apple Pencil. Um, it's a little bit lighter um, and it's a bit longer, but um, overall it's about the same. So to start writing and drawing, you have to pretty much tap the top um, to turn it on and off. Um, for $30 though, the note taking is pretty decent. Um, it's almost similar to the Apple Pencil. Uh, you can write normally, um, you write fast through the text it. Uh, the only time I saw it lagging or not detecting words was when I would write too fast or if I write in a weird way. Um, Apple detects that, but for this pencil, it doesn't detect that as well. But overall, for $30, the note-taking is pretty well. Now, the main thing that this pencil doesn't do that well is the drawing aspects. Um, sure, it draws pretty okay um, if you just want like one line that's all the same. Um, it, as you can see, it doesn't have that many options or any of the features that Apple has, like the pressure sensitivity or the tilt sensitivity. Um, so every line you draw is pretty much the same um, unless you change it in the options. Um, so that's one main downfall. Um, I would say this pencil is just mostly for note taking. Um, but for drawing, it's doable, but not as good as the Apple Pencil. So as a summary, um, we have the similarities, um, which is the palm rejection and what a palm rejection is. It's pretty much you can write or draw on the iPad with your palm on the screen, um, which is pretty nice. Um, they both take notes pretty well. Um, and surprisingly enough, the $30 pencil actually attack, uh, attaches to the iPad um, or iPad Pro or iPad Air. Um, and the design are pretty similar as well. These are pretty much the uh, pros and cons of buying the Apple Pencil. Um, the pros are, you know, it's seamless. It feels like a physical tool. Uh, it doesn't feel like a, you know, a digital pencil at all. 
Um, it has the pressure and tilt sensitivity, uh, which is very useful for drawing. Um, and I also forgot to mention this before, but it does have a touch control. Um, so if you double tap on the pencil, you can switch between pencil mode or eraser mode. Um, there's also extra options in which you don't have to use those two options. You can switch um, what it does if you double tap the uh, pencil. And then for the cons, um, which the price, of course, is, you know, 129 uh, 99 which is a pretty steep price um, you know for just an Apple pencil um, and it's also not compatible with the older iPad devices you'd have to buy the first generation for the older devices now for the knockout brand uh, which is called the jam jack stylus pen uh, the pros for this or is the price you know it's 30 bucks that's a pretty good deal um, you can also turn it off fully by just pressing the top button. You can actually turn it on and off uh, compared to the Apple Pencil where it's pretty much always on. Um, they also give you extra stuff in the package or box. They give you extra tips, um, pencil tips to switch off um, if any of those break. Um, but the cons for this stylus pen uh, is pretty much you need to charge it separately you can't charge it via the iPad um, like how you would with the Apple Pencil um, and the futures are pretty much simple um, there's no extra bells and whistles you know it's similar to the uh, was it t tilt sensitivity or pressure sensitivity um, or the double touch um, it's pretty much just for note-taking or simple drawings so with all that being said what would be the best pen to buy? Well, pretty much uh, both. And what I mean by both is um, it depends on your situation. Uh, so let's say you just need a pen just to take notes um, for school, maybe uh, to jot down notes in your at your job place, you know, it's sort and simple, uh, nothing too crazy, you know, you don't need to draw or anything, um, and you don't care about the charging uh, along with the iPad aspect. Um, then I would definitely go for the cheaper pen um, for $30 if you only need it for simple note taking um, and you won't be using it as much. Um, as for the other end, the 131, the uh, Fisher Apple pen, um, the second generation specifically, um, I would definitely recommend if you're an artist, um, if you like to draw, um, even for note taking, it works quite well. Um, and if you're the type of person who just wants the best of the best or you know just to have options for a pen then i would definitely recommend getting um, the apple uh, apple pen 